Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I, I saw they were lining you up pretty early out here, and, <laughs> and I knew I had another meeting, but uh, got here as quickly as I could, and the weather held out. So, but I'm delighted to, we were able to have this chance to get together today, Don, Sam, and I appreciate the extra work that you and your staff undertook to bring this leadership group, all of you here, and to the White House. I'm particularly pleased to see all of you state presidents. Although it's well over a year ago, I fondly remember my last visit with the JCs. It was at your 1981 National Convention in San Antonio, Texas, and I can't recall a more warm and hospitable welcome. You do have a way of making a fellow feel at home. I know that you and I know it from over the years, have a deep and abiding love of our country and a willingness to give back much of yourselves to help those less fortunate. I share that love of the country with you and the community-minded spirit of the JCs is legend and I'd like to add my voice to the chorus in this country which sings your praises. And calling to the mind, JCs one thinks of leadership and one of the truest tests of a leader is the willingness to stand up and be counted for a worthy cause. So I'm very grateful and very proud that the leadership of the USJCs has chosen to stand with us in this administration in promoting the adoption of the balanced budget, amendment to the school prayer, uh, or the constitutional amendment regarding school prayer, and the increased volunteer efforts on behalf of our various communities. We're going to keep on battling for those. Uh, we may not get them in the next day or the next week, but we're going to get them before we're through. And when we do, a large part of it will be due to the kind of support that you have given us. It's now, it's my honor to salute each one of you, all your respective members, for what you've, you've done. And I thank you for being here today. Mr. President, on behalf of the United States JCs, we'd like to present you with a couple of tokens of our appreciation for your efforts to build a better America, and please be assured that we're with you and we support you. Well, thank you very much. It's the JC Creed. Also is a, a montage depicting the 60 years of commitment, the first 60 years of our 63-year history of our commitment to America and the things that we feel that JCs have done to make America great. And we appreciate your help in, in helping us achieve those things. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was supposed to have a few minutes to speak, but I'd appreciate you shaking your hand. Well, they, uh, they also want a picture, a group picture now. That's right. Okay. All right.
earlier today, Miss USA came in to see me, and then Miss Teenage America. And I said, from here on, the day's got to go downhill. <laughs> you changed all that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. President, can you give us some idea, please, how long U.S. Marines are going to be in Lebanon, and if they're in more danger this time than they were last? I don't think there's any answer to that. Of course, we don't take questions at press or photo opportunities, but uh, I, I heard the Secretary answering that question this morning about time. We have no way of guessing, or would we speculate on what the time will be. Please, please. Thank you. 